graphing a line by finding x and y intercepts. An intercept is when a graph crosses an axis. So to calculate x-intercept, you set y equals to 0 and solve for x, and the point would be whatever you calculate for x, 0 for y. And to calculate y-intercept, you set x equals to 0 and solve for y, so your point will be 0 for x and whatever you calculate y to be. Let's graph 2x minus 3y equals to 6. So we have y and x axis. Let's find x intercept. It will be crossing the x axis, our horizontal line. And to calculate it, we set y equals to 0. So we have 2x minus 3y equals to 6. This is our equation, and we plug in 0 instead of y. So we have 2x. Anything times 0 is 0, so it's equal to 6 out of 2, out of 2, x is equal to 3. So our first point is 3, 0. 2x is 1, 2, 3, y is 0. So we have 3, 0 here. The other intercept will be on the y-axis. And to find y-intercept, we set x equals to 0. So here's our equation, 2x minus 3y equals to 6. We substitute 0 for x, so anything times 0, 0. So we get negative 3y equals to 6 out of negative 3, out of negative 3. So y is equal to negative 2. Our point is 0, negative 2. So here's our point. So once you plot those points, you graph your line. Let's graph negative 2x plus 3 plus 4y equals to 15. So here's our y-axis, x-axis. Let's find x-intercept. It will be crossing our horizontal axis. To find an intercept, you set the other variable equal to 0. So we set y equals to 0. So here's our equation, negative 2x plus 3 plus 4 times y equals to 15. We substitute 0 for y and we have negative 2x plus 3 plus 4 times 0, 0. So we get equals to 15. Now we just solve for x. Additive inverse of 3 would be negative 3 to both sides. We get negative 2x equals to 12 out of negative 2 out of negative 2. So x is equal to negative 6. Our point is negative 6, 0. Here we go. Negative 6, 0. Y-intercept happens when x is equal to 0. So let's calculate y. So we take our equation. We have negative 2x plus 3 plus 4y equals to 15. We plug in 0 instead of x. So we have 3 plus 4y equals to 15, minus 3, minus 3, 4y equals to 12, out of 4, out of 4, y is equal to 3. So the second intercept is 0, 3. Here we go. Once you plot your intercepts, you draw a line going through the intercepts. Here we have a special case. We have to graph x equals to 4. So here's our y-axis, x-axis. Now, in this equation, there is no y variable. So x is always equal to 4, no matter what y is. So you will have a vertical line through x is equal to 4. And this is our special case. When you have x equals to a number, you have a vertical line 
parallel line to y-axis through that value. Here's another special case when we have y equals to negative 3. So here's our y-axis, x-axis. Here we have negative 3. So this is our point. And you will have a horizontal line going through that negative 3. When you have y equals to a number and you see no x, you will have a parallel line to the x-axis going through that y-intercept. That's all.